Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I'm Flora Aroma. There is no music in this part of the game, so it's kind of awkward. It was kind of awkward to do this intro. I did it like three times and I was like, huh, hello everybody. Yeah, so um, we're gonna go out the store. Hopefully some music will play because the mood is literally super somber right now. Oh, oh my God, the spirit of the friend zone. Holy fuck. Oh my god okay don't acknowledge it <laughs> don't acknowledge it just just go away because literally it doesn't want anything to do with me you're just gonna go into wherever this is man do i love the kitchen all right uh just stalling because i don't want to deal with oh who are you okay let's talk to this man uh -huh. I'm gonna shut- is it a woman? I can't tell. I'm gonna shut this! We can't have any creepy apparitions crawling in at night. Do you even know? The spirit of the literal friend zone is right in here. You know, the most scary thing in the world. I'll leave that door open on the second floor, though. Yeah, okay, but now- There's a thing. Ugh, oh, come on, shut the frick. There is- Okay, I guess I'm guess I'm gonna follow it. I, I mean, I really don't know what else to do, but it really doesn't want me. Just like a friend zone. Wait, this is so freaking weird. What do you want from me? I want to go into Zelda's room. Wait, is one of them Gruce's? I want to go to Gruce's room. I want to like trash him. I'll just roast him in his sleep. Karen. I don't even know who that is. Okay, back to um friend zone. Bath. Let's take a bath. Holy love! God. I don't know why I'm getting so spooked by this thing. Alright. Where be where is she going? I think it's a she. I like this music, but um. Am I, like, supposed to catch it or something? Maybe if I, like, bolt? Maybe not. I don't know. It is a ghost. And it literally is, like, over there now. And I don't- I don't even know. Can I jump down here? This is so- What is this shit? There was, like, no explanation. Just, like, the thing was speaking to me in my, like, fever dream. And now it's here. Oh, my God. Wait, is this Mia? Mia! Guys, throw back to Mia! Oh my god! Oh, Mia! Mia! Jesus lord, Mia! Oh, wait, I have a thing! Oh, I forgot about the sword! I'm gonna murder you, Mia! What should I do with it? Should I keep following the spirit thing? Mia, what is your literal deal? <laughs> Alright, bye, bitch. <laughs> Alright, I'm keeping my sword here. Mia or no Mia? You got the red ruby. Don't spend it all in one place. Yeah, probably will. Alright, where is friend zone? Friend zone ain't here. That's for show. For show. Oh, I probably need to go up this way. Sounds like a plane. <laughs> Is that like a flying Mia? Is that Mia from the grave? Like the spirit of Mia? R.I.P. Mia. <laughs> Mia. That's gonna be the title of this episode. Fuck you, Mia. Well, I don't know where our BFF is. Wait, is something supposed to happen? 
this time. <laughs> okay, I really, I don't know if that is something important. I thought that was just a side quest, but I lost like two health things from that little encounter. Alright, so just climb up this ivy, see if I can find the ghost lady. But it ain't. What does it do? Okay. Now what? All right. <laughs> Leap of Leap of faith. Here goes. Jelly blibs. Hearts. Hearts up the wazoo. Got some ivy. Oh, I like this place. It's very nice aesthetic. Very nice. Okay. Are you done moving? Because I'm really over it. Oh, this is like where me and Zelda shared our almost first kiss. And it was hot. Okay. Yeah, are you done or not, nah, bitch? Hyrule. I can't, I don't, I, is she like Nehru? Maybe, I don't know. Okay, that was bizarre. In the next episode? No, we got some time to go figure out what's going on, even though this is probably a dungeon. 
If it's a dungeon, then in the next episode. But if it's not, oh no, it's not. It's just the master sword, a huge plot point. At least I think it's the master sword, or maybe it's the friend zone sword. Who knows with this game anymore? I love Hallmark the movie. She looks like Jelly. The one chosen by my creator. I have been waiting for you. You will play a role in great destiny. According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. Fee is the name I was given. Is it like Fee or Fi? I'm gonna say, I'll say Fi. Because it's like F-I. Fi. You guys can correct me in the comments or like roast me, I don't care. Fi. I was created for a single purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Why is she the only person in the world that doesn't think I'm a complete screw-up? Come, Tiffany. You must take up this sword as the one chosen by my creator. It is your destiny. So it's probably like... The goddesses created her, and he's the chosen one, like always. My strange dreams troubling your sleep, my sudden appearance, uncertainty surrounding the fate of the one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. Wait, was I supposed to do something? <laughs> to minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. Oh, good. Get comfortable, my friends, uh, over at home. My projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. Oh, I'm gonna make her super nerdy. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. <gasps> <laughs> that was such a yes expression. And this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one, fated to be part of the same great mission. <sighs> Therefore, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend that you take this sword before you set out to search for her. Search for her. Yeah, this definitely has to do with the goddesses. I've, I've, I've played my Zelda games. I ain't no rookie. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? <laughs> yes! I am ready. I am ready, you weird, nerdy apparition. It seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward! Stop! Stop! Title drop! Alright, in the next episode, we probably won't title drop this episode. Yeah. The name of the game. We won't title drop the name of the game. So, peace. Later, potatoes. People say my love life is fiction. People say I wouldn't give them no satisfaction. Well, I wouldn't know. It's beyond my imagination. I keep my pants up high and my zipper closed. And people wonder why I never get rid of those awesome looking sunglasses that I got off of eBay at a special price.